everyone. I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. It is Sunday and uh, it's going to be a slow, lazy kind of day. Uh, Rick is finishing up watching his NASCAR race back in the bedroom that he recorded yesterday because we had our little movie night last night. And I'm thinking, what am I going to make for supper? I want something that's going to cook itself because later on today I don't want to do anything except maybe make some rice or noodles or whatever to go along with this. So we're going to have some chicken cacciatore in the slow cooker and we're going to make it as simple as possible. I didn't go to the store, I only used what I had on hand. And what I have over here in my large crock pot, I, I have it set on high, it's already heating up. I have a 28 ounce jar of um, mushroom spaghetti sauce that I, that's, that's our favorite kind that we enjoy the most. I just put it in there and I decided that I'm going to what do I have in the vegetable drawer that needs to be used? I pulled some peppers out of the freezer. These are from our garden. This is a small bunch. It's very small bunch celery hearts that I needed to use up. And then there's maybe a cup, cup and a half. And there's four carrots. There goes Tally. Um, there's four uh, small carrots that I just sliced up and peeled. Well, I peeled them first and I sliced them. There she is, just waiting, waiting for something good to drop, huh? I have two medium-sized onions and four cloves of garlic. The onions I simply quartered and sliced, and then the garlic I chopped. There's a 14-ounce can of diced tomatoes I'm going to add in right now. I like to add the tomatoes with the sauce. You know, I'm just going off the cuff here. What is going to be good? I love chicken cacciatore, and this is just going to be a simple version that's going to cook itself all day long. Oh. Rick's trying to get over here. Um, just going to mix in those chunky tomatoes with the sauce, and it's going to be make a nice sauce. I also have four white potatoes. The other day when we were in the grocery store, as usual, check the vegetable markdown rack. I actually got a five-pound bag of white potatoes for a buck, and I also got a three-pound bag of red potatoes for a buck. Baby red potatoes at that for a dollar. So that is the best way to buy potatoes. You have to use them, so you're going to either have to cook them or you're going to have to dehydrate them right away um, or use them in the next few days. Gosh, it's already smelling so good over here. Um, but I just kind of sliced these up a little. And I have a bag of frozen chicken breasts that I pulled out. Now, I did happen to notice these are a bit kissed by uh, some freezer burn, but I don't want to waste them. I'm going to go ahead and use them. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting these in the crock pot. I'm just going to put these down in the sauce. And as the day, I'm not going to add any water as the day goes on and we give these a stir, these frozen pieces of chicken are going to kind of render out whatever water they have in them. It's all going to be good. And of course, this is going to be more than one meal for us. We're going to have these to go um, for Rick and I to have for lunch this week. It's all going to be fine. So now I'm just going to start dumping the vegetables in here. And the vegetables are going to cook down too. So at first it might look like my crock pot is too small, but it will all work out in the end. So just kind of shove it on in there. You need a bigger bowl. I always need a bigger bowl. You know what you tell me? Let's pull this out here so you can see it better. I am not, however, going to put my potatoes in here right now. I am going to put them in a bowl of water and just hold them until later. And um, because if I put them in right now, they're going to turn to mush. I want this to cook down a bit. And then we'll put the potatoes in about a half an hour or so before we want to eat. But I wanted to show you the potatoes now. And you're going to want to think, I'm going to want to add some water to this, and I'm not. What I'm going to wait and do is I'm going to wait for this chicken and the vegetables to, to render their own liquid. And then everything's going to cook down a bit and make room for the potatoes in there. I have it set on high. I'm just going to walk away from it and go enjoy the rest of my day. So there's an idea. We're going to come back in a little while. Well, come back in a second so that you can see when I'm ready to put the potatoes in. Give you some idea. It is noon and I'm probably going to come back around five o'clock, I'd say. I'm going to stir it throughout the day. It's already smelling delicious. 
and we're going to be ready to eat this, I would say, between 6 and 7 o'clock tonight. So I'll come back when it's time to put the potatoes in and let you see what happens next. I just wanted to show you real quick. I've taken my potatoes and put them in a little bowl, and I'm going to add a little salt and just give it a little zhuzh. I'm just going to put a cover on this and let it sit here. Um, this is because I don't want my potatoes to turn black. Um, they will oxidize just like apples or what have you. Um, you can put it in the fridge if you like. I'm just going to leave it out on my kitchen counter. It's going to be fine. And then when we're ready later, I'll, I'll drain the water off and I will go ahead and uh, put them in my crock pot. So we'll bring it back when it's time to do that. Okay, it is now 10 after 5. And this is, I have to get my spoon out from under the lid in the sink now. Um, this is nice. And I see I told you all of the, you know, the vegetables have cooked down. The chicken is nice and soft and tender. And Perfect. this smells amazing. Truth be told, we did give it a little taste just a second ago. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. And here's, up. here's our potatoes. In they go. Just get them down in there. And we're going to let these cook in here until they're tender. I'm guessing it's going to be about an hour or so. Um, only because my, my potatoes, I put them in cold water and I put them in the fridge. So they're going to just take a few minutes more than they would if they were room temperature. And I did not tell you, I put about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning in here after we left. I totally forgot to go ahead and put some seasoning in here. But I feel like it needs a little zing, so I'm going to put some crushed red pepper flake in here. Not a whole lot. That's a big pot of stew here. So that half a teaspoon, really, it's going to lend a really lovely um, heat to the dish when you eat this. And then you can choose to put this over macaroni, egg noodles, rice, polenta, whatever you like. It doesn't matter. I'm going to decide what we're going to have it over top of. And then when we come back, it will be time to fix you a plate of Italian chicken stew, like quick and easy chicken cacciatore. And when it's time to do that, we'll be back. Okay, our dinner is ready and I'm serving you up a plate or a bowl as the case may be. Let's see. Let's find another piece of chicken here, a small one. I don't know about you, but that looks pretty darn yummy to me. That is as easy as it gets. Quick, well, slow cooked, quick and easy chicken cacciatore that you make in your crock pot. You can throw this in in the morning, and then maybe you have a kid come home. You know, really, the potatoes, you can cook those on the side when you get home and then serve them alongside or mix them right in. You don't have to put potatoes. You can make rice or noodles or polenta or any number of things to go along with this, and it would all be delicious. We decided not to make an extra starch since we did put the potatoes in there, and it's all good. So, here you go. We're going to have a really delicious bowl of quick and easy, I guess I need to stop saying quick because it's slow cooked, of slow cooked, easy chicken cacciatore that you pretty much made with what you had in the house. So I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.